Here's the very latest out there. This just came in hot off the wire. Uh, maximum winds 50 miles per hour. So it has not strengthened yet, but it does look like it's going through a strengthening phase here. It's definitely getting better organized. The only change in this uh, advisory movement to the north at two miles per hour. It was stationary all the way through the evening hours, hadn't moved at all. Now it's just drifting a little bit to the north. Let's check out the forecast track. And this has changed a little bit too in that the intensity has been cranked up nearing hurricane strength just off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida. And then it does become a category one storm uh, right off the coast of Georgia, say Savannah, category one storm off Myrtle Beach, 85 mile per hour winds. And then it even gets up to 90 miles per hour uh, for a strong category one storm there off of the Delta Marva and just barely maybe brushes the Cape Hatteras coastline. The forecast track also shifted a little bit farther to the right or offshore away from Hatteras, but still, they're under the gun there. Definitely a big vacation spot for the 4th of July weekend. Now, here it is on the satellite loop, and I want to show you this here. Although the deep reds are gone, you see that it's really starting to wrap up. You can see the center here forming right there, and you see really nice outflow on the northern end the eastern and the southern side. This is an indication that this thing is now evacuating all the air. Air will lift up underneath. The pressures will drop. From there, the winds will respond by tightening up and getting faster. And I think that's going to happen tomorrow. And we're going to see this thing start to crank up, like I said, to near hurricane strength. Drop storm watches and warnings are the same. Those have not changed. We're talking about a watch for the coast for eastern uh, Indian River County and St. Lucie County northward. And then a warning for the offshore waters, too. And that's actually from Jupiter Inlet all the way up to the north. Live Viper Max right now, tons of lightning strikes earlier. If you were looking outside, you saw a lot of lightning to the east. You saw a lot of it to the south. Kind of seemed like it was all around you. This is from one huge band that moved on through Broward County. Still seeing some heavy rain there, but we are dry at the moment. So what does all this mean to you? What can you expect here tonight? Breezy on the Treasure Coast. Tomorrow, some lingering showers, possibly even a rain band, but it's not going to affect the entire area. Then we're finally going to see improving conditions for Thursday and the holiday weekend. I'll have more on that coming up in just a bit.